Streaming live now on News8000.com. You're watching WKBT Lacrosse. This is News 8 Now at noon. Good afternoon. Thank you for joining us for News 8 Now at Noon. I'm Alexandra Carter. Tonight, President Joe Biden and former President Donald Trump set to go head to head in their first presidential debate of the 2024 campaign season. Sources say Biden plans to focus on what he sees as Trump's threat to the rule of law and democracy. And the former president plans to highlight perceived failures of the Biden administration, like the current state of the economy. Wisconsin is historically a battleground state and will likely be key to winning the presidential election. Lieutenant Governor Sarah Rodriguez hopes Wisconsinites will watch the debate tonight to learn more about each candidate's plans for the country. I think it's important to lay out what their vision is for the next four years. I think it's important to so to see what type of leader we're going to get for the next four years. And this debate is likely going to highlight that. Tonight's debate is hosted by CNN and begins at 8 p.m. Central. It'll last an hour and a half. You can watch it right here live on News 8 or stream it on our website. And today's clue for the Riverfest medallion has been revealed. It says, quote, hip hip hooray, Riverfest 2024 is almost underway. Soon the park will resemble a circus with food, family and fun. Come down and join us. The medallion is hidden within a 10 mile radius of Riverside Park. It's small enough to fit in the palm of your hand and it won't be buried. The winner gets four Riverfest buttons, $50 in food vouchers and 10 beverage tickets. <laughs> All right, taking a look at your local weather here. What we've got going on for you here, slowly but surely, rain is on the way in the form of light to moderate showers. We'll first start off with your current temperatures where you're seeing some 70s already here. We're looking at a high possibly getting around, say, 78 degrees, just to let you know. Current dew points are mostly in the 50s. You see some 60s to our west, and that means we are very pleasantly calm and cool. There's a look here as you get into 78 degrees expected, but as you go through most of the afternoon, you're looking at mostly 70s, widespread with partly cloudy skies. The same up in Eau Claire as well, where they're going to see widespread 70s. The winds are light, 75 degrees possibly for their high for the day. Here comes the rainfall. Now it's kind of popped in a little bit sooner now, looking at at least uh, from what we saw earlier. And it'll continue on as we go right into about the mid evening to say dinner time and beyond. So that means you're going to see a little wet for your evening commute. So we're looking at pleasant conditions, then rainfall on the way. So I'll have more about your forecast coming up for you in just a bit. All right, we'll see you then, Art. Thank you. The Midwest has taken a pounding this week. Historic flooding has damaged many farming communities. Many farms already lost most of their corn and soybean crops. Corn and soybeans are found in everything from food to car seats and even ethanol fuel. One economist estimates the long term impact on prices will be relatively small as long as other domestic and international producers are able to meet demand that area tends to be one of our prime growing regions in the United States. I think we could see about a 3 million acre reduction in total in corn and soybeans within Minnesota, South Dakota and Iowa. Many farmers in the area have crop insurance, but they say it doesn't even cover half of their losses for things like seeds, fertilizer and labor. New rounds of heavy rain will put parts of Nebraska, Iowa and Kansas at risk of flash flooding later today and tonight over an area where swollen rivers are still rising. The Supreme Court formally made a ruling that allows for emergency abortions in Idaho this morning. The decision to block enforcement of Idaho's strict abortion ban was inadvertently posted on the High Court's website yesterday. The High Court dismissed an appeal about Idaho's strict abortion law, which bans the procedure in nearly all cases unless the mother's life is at risk. The justices voted 6-3 to three to allow emergency abortions to take place there on a temporary basis while the case continues through the lower courts. The High Court also upending a Biden administration effort to reduce smog and air pollution wafting across state lines. The 5-4 to four decision is a win for the Republican-led states and industry groups that challenged the Environmental Protection Agency's Good Neighbor Plan. That plan imposed strict emission limits on power plants and industrial sources in upwind states to reduce pollution for their counterparts downwind. The decision technically doesn't end that effort. It places implementation of the Biden program on hold through what will be a complicated legal fight that will most likely continue past the November election and into next year. 
Walgreens is set to close a substantial number of its roughly 8600 locations across the country. This comes as the drugstore chain looks to reset its struggling business. Walgreens didn't announce a specific number of store closures, but its CEO says it's planning significant closures of underperforming stores across the US. The CEO went on to say the closures will focus on locations that aren't profitable, too close to one another, or stores struggling with shoplifting losses. And one month to go now until the Olympic Games in Paris, where the world's greatest athletes will compete amid iconic landmarks and history. Paris expects to welcome 15 million visitors. History will be made when teams float down the Seine River in the opening ceremony, a first outside a stadium. More than a dozen Olympic venues have already been built in the city center. Police have mobilized 30,000 security forces. Paris's police chief said they are preparing for the possibility of terrorist-inspired attacks. Last month, a Chechen man was arrested for planning an attack at the Olympic soccer stadium. Regardless of security concerns, the Olympic Games will go on, and athletes at the top of their game will take a bit of France home with them. Each medal contains a piece of iron from the Eiffel Tower. Still to come, summer is here, and that means plenty of fun in the sun, but how can you protect your family from the sun's nasty burn? Consumer Reports has the tips you need to hear after the break. Knutson Roofing, locally owned with 20 years of experience to get your project done right the first time. Whether it's roofing, window, or siding installation, we offer reliable, dependable, and quality work we stand behind. Knutson Roofing, call or visit us online today. The phone rang, and she said, Mom, we're going to lose the baby. Doctors knew that Amanda's baby had no chance of surviving. And because of the extreme abortion ban in her state, we were also about to lose her. Doctors were not allowed to help her until she was almost dying. We have always been conservative. But we feel a national abortion ban would be devastating for all families. Get ready to save huge at the King Furniture Independence Day Sale going on now. We are celebrating with huge discounts on sofas, sectionals, recliners, bedrooms, dining rooms, lift chairs, and more. Our warehouse is overstocked, and we need to move some furniture fast. That means incredible savings for you. Find July 4th deals on the best brands in the furniture and mattress business. Do not miss the King Furniture Independence Day Sale going on now. After an accident, you have an important opportunity to go after all the money you may be entitled to. When it comes to motorcycle representation for accidents, only one firm comes to mind, UP and Abraham. They're very well known for handling motorcycle cases. We knew that we could trust them. They got me way more than I thought I would get. Bikers choose UP and Abraham because of the reputation of getting the best results of any other law firm. Call UP and Abraham right now. Tell the insurance company you mean business. Your journey to wellness begins at Vernon Memorial Healthcare, where excellence in orthopedic care is a reality. From initial consultation to post-operative recovery, every step of the way is tailored to you. The numerous awards for orthopedic services are a testament to our entire team's skill and dedication. Your path to wellness is paved with our unwavering support and expertise. Trust us for a brighter, more active tomorrow. Vernon Memorial Healthcare. Knutson Roofing, locally owned with 20 years of experience to get your project done right the first time. Whether it's roofing, window, or siding installation, we offer reliable, dependable, and quality work we stand behind. Knutson Roofing, call or visit us online today. Fun in the sun can come to a scorching halt with a nasty sunburn. If you've ever gotten one, you know how unpleasant it is. As Consumer Reports explains, cooling the burn the right way will help alleviate the pain. Getting a sunburn is never fun. Your skin feels like it's on fire and anything that touches you hurts, not to mention the potential long-term health effects. Every time you get a sunburn, it ages your skin and it increases your risk for skin cancer. Consumer Reports' Trisha Calvo says prevention should be a priority wear the right sunscreen and cover up. A top performing sunscreen in Consumer Reports Tets, that's also a CR Smart Buy. Copper Tone Water Babies Lotion SPF 50. The right way to apply a lotion sunscreen is to use a teaspoon per body part that's not covered by clothing. But when you forget sunscreen or don't correctly reapply it, there are ways to relieve the discomfort. 
Start by taking frequent cool baths or showers. As soon as you're done bathing, pat yourself dry. Don't rub the towel against your skin. You want to leave your skin a little damp and then apply moisturizer. Look for moisturizers that contain aloe vera or soy. Since sunburns inflame the skin, taking an anti-inflammatory like aspirin or ibuprofen can help reduce swelling and alleviate discomfort. And be sure to keep hydrated, drinking more water than usual. If your skin blisters, don't pop or peel them. Allow them to heal. And if you do go outside, cover up by wearing loose-fitting clothes that cover the burn and stay in the shade as much as possible. See our editors like this Tommy Bahama umbrella, which has easy grip handles for setup and is designed to withstand the breeziest beach days. The L.L. Bean Sunbuster Folding Shelter was also well-liked for its simple setup, higher quality materials, and roominess. If squeezing under an umbrella or in a tent isn't your thing, level up with a beach canopy. See your editors like the Cool Cabana's Cool Cabana 5 Beach Canopy for its sturdiness and ability to withstand light to moderate winds and strong wind gusts. This is David Fazekas. And if your burn is severe, see a doctor, especially if you feel unwell, have chills, a fever, or you're nauseous. That wraps up your afternoon consumer news. As we had to break, here is a live look at the New York Stock Exchange. Stay with us. More news is next. During the 4th of July sale going on now at PM Sleep Center, you can save up to $200 on select Sealy mattresses. Your next mattress is at PM Sleep Center, giving LaCrosse a good night's sleep for over 35 years. Senator Baldwin says, I'm not from Wisconsin. But this was my childhood home. Graduated East High. Became a Badger in 86, where I've had my company for over 20 years. And this is where we live. It's our family home. I'm a fourth generation Wisconsinite. It made me who I am. If Senator Baldwin's not gonna be honest with you about where I'm from, what makes you think she'll be honest with you about anything? I'm Eric Hovde, and I approve this message. After I decided my pain was too much, and my doctor actually suggested that I do visit the Good Feet store. Pretty amazing when they put the arch supports in your shoe, and you walk around, and you realize there's not pain, and you think, how can this arch support in my shoe make my back pain go away? But it works. And how can it make my knee pain go away? It was incredible. Hip, knee, or back pain? See if arch supports can help you at the Good Feet Store. During the 4th of July sale going on now at PM Sleep Center, you can save up to $400 on select Stearns and Foster mattresses. Your next mattress is at PM Sleep Center, giving LaCrosse a good night's sleep for over 35 years. When the threat is real. All right, we still have another tornado warning now. First Warn Weather is here for you. So we're going to continue to monitor this once again. It's in the name, keeping you safe before and as it happens. And then for the morning commute, we're looking at heavy rain potential. First Warn Weather on News 8 Now. On air, in your hand, and online. When you need us. We'll continue to update you throughout the night with a severe weather outbreak. Welcome back. Fewer prescriptions for oral contraceptives and especially emergency contraceptives are being filled in states that have adopted the most restrictive policies on abortion. That's the finding from research published in JAMA Network Open, which tracked millions of prescriptions filled from 2021 through last year before and after the Supreme Court overturned Roe v. Wade. The study authors say it may be related to family planning clinics closing or confusion about whether emergency contraceptive medications are legal. The National Institute of Allergy and Infectious Diseases says an injectable HIV prevention medication called lenacapavir was shown to be safe and 100% effective in clinical trials among women. Researchers say the long-acting PrEP is administered twice a year and could be an important tool for patients unable to take pills daily. A new study from the National Institutes of Health suggests a daily multivitamin may not help you live a longer life. Researchers looked at data on more than 400,000 healthy U.S. adults over 20 years and found no differences in mortality or risk of death for those who took multivitamins versus those who did not. That includes deaths from cancer and heart disease. Those were some of today's top health headlines. Taking a live look 
At CityCam 8 now, Art is in next to tell us more about our forecast. July at Home Furniture starts with two big days of savings. This Thursday and Friday, get up to an extra 15% off sale prices. This Middleton Queen bedroom suite is $24.99. Made in Wisconsin with American Red Oak. Two big days of savings Thursday and Friday at Home Furniture. I'm Tammy Baldwin, and I approve this message. How much I weigh is nobody's business. But Eric Hovde wants to make it his. Eric Hovde thinks that if you're overweight, insurance companies should charge you more. There should be consequences to those personal choices. Fine, you want to do that? Your health care is going to cost more. How insulting is that? Hovde would increase health care costs for one out of every three people in Wisconsin. Eric Hovde, what the hell is wrong with this guy? As your local Touchstone Energy Cooperative, we wear many hats. We take pride in serving our members and our community by going the extra mile in everything we do. Because we not only work here, we live here. Touchstone Energy Cooperatives, your source for power and information. Hey, it's Reed and Chelsea Magnum. Okay, so at the end of the day, people are tired, right? And and you just... Yeah. You want some mommy juice and you want to watch a show. Your brain's wore out. Yeah. If you're physically... If you do a physical job, you're physically tired. But yes. you can also just be mentally tired. And here's one of the reasons you're mentally tired. Okay. According to the Journal of Health Psychology... Ooh, I like that. Average person per day makes 35,000 35, decisions... That's amazing. ...on average in a day. During the 4th of July mattress sale at Home Sleep Express, get $500 off Tempur-Pedic Breeze mattresses and a $300 shopping card with free white glove delivery and a 120-night guarantee. Tempur-Pedic, now at Home Sleep Express. Is it time for new windows or doors? Contact the company who has done the research for you. The best windows and doors installed by the best people. Clear Choice Window and Home Solutions. The News 8 Plus app. Local news on your time. Well, another gorgeous day here in La Crosse. Cool today, looking at Friday showers as a possibility, but we may see some later on this evening through your drive time, and possibly if you're going out to dinner later on tonight. We'll also see that, we'll see more of that gradual flooding getting into next week as well. Hey, I just showed you here what I'm looking at right now, showing you that uh, high pressure has, uh, was over us earlier today, and as the day progresses, it's sliding on over toward New York. Low pressure that was in Colorado starting to lift a little bit higher between Kansas and portions of uh, uh, Nebraska. If we take a look here. That's going to open up the Gulf as well to us here locally, and we're in now a marginal risk of severe weather. So we're going to see some of that, uh, that warmer, moist air try to make its way a little bit closer to us, and that's going to bring a clash of all of that uh, cold air coming out of Canada and then kind of mixing together, and we'll see maybe some shower activity working. It's going to be about a 2% chance for a tornado, more along the lines of damaging winds, which is about a 5% chance, and we'll also see that going in for uh, large hail as well. As we continue on, look at this. This is the rainfall that's going to push through for Friday all the way through the afternoon hours as well. So it's going to start in the overnight hours through the afternoon and evening. Then we get into Saturday and it starts to wind down once we get into the wee hours of the morning on Saturday going into sunrise. That being said, we take a look here going into the next, next batch of rainfall, which is on Monday. That's going to usher in more rain and then all the way into Tuesday where we see much more storm activity coming in. That's going to push the limit for some of our local uh, rivers and of course our flooding is going to continue to exacerbate. That being said, we take Take a look here at the rainfall coming in for today. See that by the time we get into the seven o'clock hour through your drive time, possibly into dinner time, you're going to be picking up a little bit of rainfall moving in. It start, start, starts out light, then it's going to pick up a little bit more. You see this continuing on and it'll bring a light to moderate chances for rainfall. We're looking at at least up to maybe about a quarter of an inch, maybe up to a half an inch if we're lucky. Up to the north though, the rainfall gets heavier, especially when Friday kicks in in the midnight hour. You're going to see all the way up by Lady Smith, you'll be picking up uh, the potential for a slight chance of a storm. Back down to the south, though, you're noticing that we're picking up some wind coming in. That's coming out of the south. As it dries in a little bit more so, you're going to be seeing uh, well, the possibility of some of that clash of uh, wind that I told you about, the mix of colder air and warmer air 
Now the system will kind of flatten out and work its way on top of us for the second or third batch of rainfall that's coming in the forecast. That'll bring another round of light to moderate showers, and then they kick out for the last batch coming in for uh, the end of Friday going into Saturday where it's much lighter, and you see that limited amounts of rainfall coming through the area, and it's up and it's out and it's gone. All right, that being said, we get into the rain amounts. You're seeing limited, limited amounts today. Then it picks up as we go into tonight and tomorrow, and then we'll see that continue all the way into uh, Saturday as well. And as we look from Thursday all the way into uh, uh, next week, you're looking at some pretty good rainfall popping in the picture. What's happening though for the rivers and streams? That means we're going to picking up a lot of rainfall and a lot more flooding potential kind of put moving into the picture here. With that happening for us, we're also going to be seeing that all continue to go right into next week where that happens to drop right on top of us. We'll look at the river levels. You can see them right now. And then back to how this all plays out, we'll get into how this looks for us. Uh, well, we'll get into at least the possibility of more rainfall coming back in next week. As that is done, I'll show you how this all looks for your seven day forecast, eight day forecast, apologize. Upper 70s, middle 70s, and then we've got 80s on the way for next week. Back to you. All right, Art, thank you. Coming up, meet Stanley, the aptly named sea turtle with the hockey twist. How this resilient reptile is connecting marine conservation with Panthers playoff fever. On these trails, I find the middle ground and get things moving. I've done that as a state lawmaker, and it's what I'll do in Congress. I'll work with both parties to get things done for workers and families. Get an 11% rebate on all doors at Menards. For over 50 years, Mastercraft has been building quality doors. Shop our huge selection of in-stock doors or design your door your way. In-store or online. This six-panel pine interior door is $169.99 after rebate. Seal out the weather with Larson Storm Doors. This Liberty Storm Door is easy to install and is just $134.99 after 11% rebate now at Menards. Save big money at Menards. The heat is on. And so is Carl's. Salute to savings sale. Save up to 45% on major appliances. Get up to $1,000 back with Carl's exclusive rebates. Get this 28 cubic foot refrigerator for only $14.99. See the all new washer, dryer, combi models. All TVs are on sale. Shop our Serta iComfort Eco Mattresses. And our great selection of name brand grills. Carl's. Salute to savings sale. Carl's is servicing dealers since 1956. Celebrate on Alaska on Saturday, June 29th at Van Riper Park. Enjoy a fun-filled day of activities, food, and entertainment for the whole family. Events include a cornhole tournament and family fun zone with inflatable rides. Live music begins at 5.15 with Tabasco Cat, followed by Mason Dixon Line at 6.30. Then the entertainment takes to the sky with the festival food salute to the 4th of July fireworks. Celebrate with us on June 29th in Van Riper Park in Onalaska. I know how to get things moving on the state capitol, but in Congress, I'll also have the experience to stop bad ideas like the national abortion ban and stop attacks on our democracy. I'm Katrina Shankland, and I approve this message because our freedoms are on the line. You expect more, so thank you for watching News 8 Now. In South Florida, a Marine Life Center is celebrating the Florida Panthers' recent Stanley Cup win. The team's victory is giving the nonprofit organization another reason to cheer on its newest resident, a sea turtle. Stanley, a some adult green sea turtle at Loggerhead Marine Life Center in Juneau Beach, is a true fighter. You know, she was found very anemic, very weak. Uh, kind of like at the end of game four when we had that bad game with the Panthers. The turtle's name coming from, you guessed it. I'm a diehard Panthers fan, I'm a diehard hockey fan. Seeing the energy of, around hockey here in South Florida, we figured, okay, let's wait. Let's, let's see what happens with this game before we name this patient. And it turned out it was a great time to name this turtle Stanley. CEO Andy Dehart says there was no question the name was a perfect fit. On Sunday morning, we brought in an amazing green sea turtle that was found floating in Palm Beach Gardens next to a dock. Over the next couple of weeks, Stanley will require some rehabilitation. Stanley's one of those cases where she's got some plastic in her gut. The center, a known advocate for ocean conservation. We're going to help that process move along, get all that plastic out, and she'll be able to return to the sea very quickly. And you can watch a live stream of Stanley's recovery on the Loggerhead Marine Life Center website. Stay with us. We'll have one more check of your forecast when we return.
Ashley's Stars and Stripes mattress sale is going on now. Save up to $500 on select mattresses. Plus pay 0% interest for five years with no minimum purchase on all in-store purchases. Only at Ashley. Shop more deals in-store and online. Your adventure starts here at Ho-Chunk Gaming Black River Falls. We've got something for everyone. Explore hundreds of miles of off-road fun. Cap off the night with the crew by spinning up even more excitement. Or slow it down and relax. Just the two of you. Your adventure awaits outdoors, indoors. Call or visit Ho-Chunk Gaming Black River Falls today. Experience the difference. Trail Riders package available. Do you suffer from burning pain, coldness, numbness, tingling in your hands, legs, or feet? And worst of all, balance problems? Have you been told you have peripheral neuropathy? Stop what you are doing because there is help in a healthy way. We see physicians across the country throw a drug cocktail approach at this condition, getting minimal, if any, relief while neuropathy progresses toward being confined to walkers and wheelchairs due to amputations and disabilities. Drugs like gabapentin, Lyrica, Cymbalta, or opioids are designed to hide neuropathy but not fix it and often come with dangerous side effects. Finally, there's a proven path to recovery that thousands of patients just like you have experienced. Our breakthrough non-invasive neuropathy treatment is supported by FDA-cleared technologies based on published clinical evidence, creating a 99% satisfaction rating. More exciting, our patients enjoy our home therapy to conveniently accelerate healing. If you want your health freedom back, don't choose to suffer any longer. Call now. Spots are limited to the first 20 callers. Call today so we can help in a healthy way. Ashley Stars and Stripes mattress sale is going on now. Don't miss these mattress hot buys, now only $7.99. And get a free adjustable base upgrade with an Align by Ashley Sleep mattress purchase. Only at Ashley. Shop more deals in-store and online. Celebrating 70 years, we're News 8 Now. Less than seven years to finish out the week. And once we get into next week, well, we're going to start to see a gradual change. More storms on the way with potential 80s with humidity oh, returning back to La Crosse in a moment. All right, Art, thank you. And thank you for joining us for News 8 Now at Noon. We'll see you back here tonight. Until then, enjoy your Thursday.